Welcome to this lesson where you will be learning how to form algebraic equations and solve them from worded questions and from different shapes and diagrams. So stay tuned. So let's have a look at our first question. The sum of three consecutive numbers is 99. Find what these numbers are. So let's begin by forming an equation. So if we say x is our first number, so for example, if we have like three numbers next to each other, so five, six, and seven, the number after five is six. So therefore, if x is our number that we start with, it could be anything, okay, this is just an example. The number after x would be x plus one. And the number after that would be x plus one plus one more. So x plus two. And we are told that they all add up to give us 90. Nine. So now we have an equation where we collect the like terms and we solve this. So let's do that. So we have x plus x plus x, which is 3x. Uh, we have 1 plus 2, which is 3, and that equals 99. We take the 3 to the other side. So we have 3x is equal to 96, and therefore x would be equal to 96 divided by 3. And that gives us, you can do that on your calculator, on your heads, that gives us 32. So our answer for x is 32. Now if we plug them back in, so x is 32, and then x plus 1, so 32 plus 1 is 33, and 32 plus 2 is 34. So three consecutive numbers are 32, 33, and 34. Let's have a look at our next question. Emily is x years old, Dawood is three years older than Emily, and Micah is twice as old as Emily. The total of the ages is 51. Find the age of Emily. So let's start off with Emily. We are told that Emily is x, and Dawood is three years older than Emily. So therefore, x plus three can be represented as Dawood's age. And we are told that Micah is twice as old as Emily. So if Emily is x, Micah is going to be 2x. So we have the ages now. So now this is Emily, this is Dawood, and this is Micah. And we are told that the ages add up to give us 51. So now we have another equation that we collect the like terms and we solve. So x plus x plus 2x, that gives us 4x plus 3 equals 51. We take the 3 to the other side, so 4x is equal to 48, and therefore we do 48 divided by 4, x is equal to 12. So therefore Emily is 12 years old. And of course we've got the other ages as well, but the question doesn't ask us to find the other ages. But just in case, that would, would be 12 plus 3, which is 15, um, my car would be 2 times 12, which is 24 years old. So over to our next few questions, uh, where you will be tested on the various angles inside shape. So for example, the angles on a straight line is equal to 180, something you need to know. Angles on a point is equal to 360. Angles in a triangle is equal to 180, so on and so forth. So we have an angle on a point here. So all these three angles, what do they add up to? They add up to 360. So let's form our equations now. So x plus 20 plus 3x plus 10 plus 2x, all of that equals to 360 degrees, and you can write that down as well. So now we've got a linear equation, so we can just collect all the like terms, so x plus uh, 3x is 4x, plus 2x is 6x, so 20 plus 10, that equals 30, so 360, that's what it's equal to, so we have 6x plus 30 is equal to 360, we take the 30 to the other side, so we get 6x is equal to 330, and then we have 330, and we divide by 6 here, and we can work that out on our calculators, and that gives us 55 degrees. So we know that x is um, 55 degrees. Now sometimes in a question you might be asked to find the smallest or the largest angle. And the way to do that is simply to substitute all the values back in. So if you substitute the values back in, you get 55 plus 20, which is uh, 75 degrees. Um, here you get 110 degrees, because 2 times 55 is 110. And here you get 3 times 55. Let's just calculate that on our calculator for speed. So and that is 110. 75. So these are the angles. So the largest angle here is clearly 175. So you'll say that the largest angle is 3x plus 10. 
and or the examiner would also accept you saying 175 as well. So onto the triangle now, we know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So this angle plus that angle plus that angle is equal to 180. So let's set that up as an equation now. So there you have it, we've set this up as an equation now. If we remove the brackets, the signs don't change. So we can just rewrite everything. So now we can just collect the like terms. So x plus 2x is 3x, plus another 2x is 5x, so 5x. And then the numbers, we've got 20 minus 20, which is cancel, and then minus 40. So overall, we get minus 40. Uh, minus 40, and then 180 on this side. And we just solve this now. So take the minus 40 to this side, so we get 220. So 5x is equal to 220, and therefore x would be equal to 220 over 5. Let's just get our calculators and do this now. And the answer for x is equal to 44 degrees. Now, of course, you're expected to substitute all the values in because the question might say to you, um, give the largest angle. Okay, so, or the, or the smallest angle. Okay, so let's just quickly sub those values back in for every single one of them. So when we substitute the x equals 44 back into our diagram, we get 64 here, so because uh, 44 plus 20. Uh, for this one, we get 68. So there you have it. So we'll substitute all the values back in, and the largest angle is this one here. So 2x minus 20 is our largest angle. So there you have it. I've shown you two examples with um, different angles. Um, you might be asked next time in a quadrilateral, for example. But as long as you know that the quadrilateral, all the angles inside a quadrilateral equal to 360, you'll be fine. Just set up your equations and solve them as you would. On to our finale question for this lesson. We are given two shapes, a rectangle and a triangle, and we are told that both of them have the same area, and we have to find the perimeter of this rectangle. So where do we begin? Let's begin by equating their two areas. So if we make the area of this rectangle equal to the area of this triangle, we can make an equation. So we know that the length times the width here will give us the area of this rectangle. So x plus 3 times by 2 is an expression that represents the area of this rectangle. And that will be equal to the area of this. So how do you calculate the area of a triangle? It's base times height divided by 2. So the base here is 3x minus 3 times it by the height, which we can put here, and then divide that by 2. And there we have our equation. Now, before we go any further, we can actually cancel this down. So therefore, this just left here with 2. So we have 2x plus 3 is equal to 2 bracket 3x minus 3. And how we proceed now, um, you can do one of two ways. You can either cancel out the 2s by dividing both sides by 2, or you can expand the bracket. It's probably just easier to cancel the 2s, which is to divide both sides by 2. So if we divide by 2 here, we divide by 2 here, that 2 will disappear, that 2 will disappear, leaving us with x plus 3 is equal to 3x minus 3. And then we want, just want to move the um, like terms over to one side. So x over here, and this 3 will come over here. So 3x here, we'll take away x there, so that will give us 2x. The minus 3 on the other side will be positive, so it'd be 3 plus the 3, which is going to be 6. And therefore, you have 6 divided by 2, which is x, and therefore x would be equal to 3 centimeters. Now the question did say to us to find the perimeter of this rectangle. So what we now need to do is put in our x value and find the actual lengths for this. So therefore that's going to be equal to 6 centimeters. So 2 centimeters plus 6 centimeters, 2 centimeters plus 6 centimeters will give us the perimeter. So if we can write this over here, perimeter would be equal to 2 plus 6, plus 2, plus 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16. So the perimeter would be 16 centimeters. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please continue sharing with your friends and family. If there are any topics that you'd like me to cover, please don't forget to comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.
goodbye for now.